Well, it's important to understand that immigration has slightly different impacts on areas than domestic migration. What I call domestic migration are people who move from place to place within the United States. Some of them could be foreign born, but they're moving within the U.S., whereas immigrants are coming, you know, coming in and landing somewhere. What, what's important about immigration is it serves as a cushion for population gains in big immigrant magnet areas like Los Angeles and New York. Both of those big metropolitan areas have been losing domestic migrants for at least the last decade or two uh, for lots of reasons, housing costs, uh, job opportunities elsewhere, and so forth. But what's keeping them going is their continued ability to attract immigrants, the steady stream of immigrants moving into these areas. Because immigrants have established friendship ties and communities and so forth in these areas, L.A. and New York is going to continue to count on immigration as a big part of their growth. So whether or not domestic migration goes up and down, depending on the nature of the economy, because domestic migrants are much more footloose, immigrants will continue to be a big part of that gain for those areas. Uh, so I think that, uh, uh, in fact, immigration uh, will continue to come to these areas, but also spread out, and it's going to spread out to other parts of the country as well. It will be that cushion, I think, that lots of places are going to be counting on for their population growth.